What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video today. I cannot believe just in 48 hours, Team DeSantis has already gone off the rails. And let me be clear, I'm not attacking DeSantis himself, right? That's not, that's not nothing about DeSantis or Trump. It's the people directly around DeSantis, right? Th that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about people that support him. I'm talking about the inner circle. Because we thought Trump's inner circle was bad. They may have been useless. But at least they kept their mouth shut and pretended to be nice and good people. Well, guess what? We, we now see the true colors of Team DeSantis. And again, when I say that, that's the inner circle, the top people, you know, Team DeSantis. That's what I'm talking about. It appears we see the truth. Who these people really are. And I cannot believe the hypocrisy and the lunacy some of these people are going towards. I cannot believe it. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. Guys, go follow Real American Politics on Twitter. It is a great Twitter account I recommend everyone follows. Of course, follow the Rumble page for exclusive content. And of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for $3 a month, you could join Real American, which is a phenomenal deal as it helps support the daily content we all know and love. You love the daily content? Well, this is the best way to support the channels. I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right, let me be clear. I don't want to levy personal attacks, but when you start doing this crap, instead of focusing on policy, that's a line that I'm not allowing. So top DeSantis aide argues with a 16-year-old about Botox in Ukraine one day after disastrous campaign rollout. You thought this was a parody? No. It's real. Katrina Pesho, Pesho, I should say, excuse me, a top advisor, Ron DeSantis, argued with a 16-year-old Trump supporter about Botox in Ukraine on Twitter just one day after the Florida governor launched his campaign. So, if you don't know, GOP Josh, who is a 16-year-old, you know, conservative commentator from the state of Ohio, you know, I talked to him in the past a little bit, fairly chill guy, I recommend you follow him, especially now, well, he did a little bit of trolling, you know, you know, on this channel, we love trolling, and he did it, and it somehow got the response of this loser, who mind you, this is a top DeSantis aide, this isn't, you know, some Joe Schmo down the street that says, I'm a DeSantis aide. No, she is a, one of the top people in DeSantis's circle or world, whatever. And Josh, he did the perfect thing. He did some trolling. How much of the $1 million establishment raised yesterday will go towards your Botox? And Pushow is like, does your mom know what you're doing on the internet? And GOP Josh with a perfect response does your boss know you're a foreign national? I cannot believe this is real. We have... I, I think we broke it in the Matrix yesterday. I mean... <laughs> this is real! She is arguing with a 16-year-old conservative commentator. Over this? I mean, I'm not going to get into it, but it's like... Jeez! How are you this ignorant... To get into an attack, a shit fest, whatever, with a 16-year-old on Twitter. and But that was yesterday. I thought, okay, this is just one thing that's going to blow over after a week. And again, the, the one thing I was talking about the sexual, apparently some DeSantis supporter, I don't know who it was. Apparently he was like, oh my gosh, uh, GOP Josh, you are a dick size or something like that. It's like, dude, that doesn't seem right. Either way, Josh is a great guy. I recommend you follow him. I thought, okay, this was the bottom of the barrel. I thought we couldn't go deeper. Well, Team DeSantis, they dug below the barrel. They dug through it. They went below the barrel. I cannot believe what happened just a couple hours ago. So, Gavin Mario Wax is, in my opinion, one of the best Republicans in the state of 
New York. He considers himself a populist and the head of the New York Young Republican Club. It is one of the better clubs or organizations in New York. They're pushing, you know, a more conservative nationalist Republican Party. And, well, to say that he pissed off certain people was an understatement. And let's just say, Michelle got a lot of backlash. I don't care if she's following me. I can care less. I really, I don't care. All right? But, you know, he's like, hey, what's your effing problem? And that's a true point. Why, who cares what a 16-year-old says on Twitter? Why are you going to insult them like this when he's actually been growing as of late, as a channel, or I should say as a, a group or a podcast? I don't know the exact terminology, but he's been growing fairly quickly. But it's like, why are you getting in a pity fight with a 16-year-old on Twitter? It just seems so bizarre and out of the blue. It's like, do you got anything better to do with your life? Like, you know not have bad optics, but Gavin Mario Wax was, you know, in charge of, I should say he was involved with the Babylon Bee, which it's a, you know, a satire company. It's supposedly conservative and Christian. And this bozo, who is one of the top people in Babylon Bee, he pretty much fired him on Twitter. And Jenna Ellis, one of the most bizarre useless lawyers Trump had in 2020. This was one of the uh, lawyers that Trump had during the election stuff. You probably remember her. She did absolutely nothing of worth that I can see. I think she probably grifted a lot of money, but I'm not saying that she did or didn't. Just nothing successful happened when she was a lawyer. It just seems kind of suspicious that, hmm, how much did you get paid? And nothing good happened. And I understand that's lawyer stuff, but it's like, yeah, it's not good. How much did she get paid? Well, she was a big Trump supporter until recently. She suddenly flipped on the Trump train and she flipped the DeSantis. And my goodness, she is beyond insufferable. I mean, this is a way a real man responds. Um, firing somebody over Twitter? This, this is how a real man responds? I mean... <laughs> and to think that you know Babylon B is supposed to be a good organization they completely blew it seriously imagine losing all your all your passion or whatever all your you know support for the Babylon B because you oppose DeSantis I mean or support DeSantis I mean you fire somebody just because he supports Trump you weren't even mentioning this and Marowak, you didn't say anything wrong. If this is what was wrong in the statement, then what do you call this? When she went after a 16-year-old on Twitter, when you're supposed to be one of the top people. It's just absolutely bizarre. And it just shows that some of these people in DeSantis' world, the top of the top, they can't take any criticism. I really do think they believe he's the second coming of Christ. That's what some of these people act like. And I know some and Trump will do the same, but this is way worse than the usual big Trump supporter. At least with them, you can talk and do something. Here, they fire you just for opposing DeSantis? And for this? Posting what's your effing problem? It, it just seems so bizarre. It's like, some of these people, they're destroying their reputations. And again, I'm not personally attacking anybody. I'm not. But when you claim, you go after somebody for being a 16-year-old on Twitter and then you attack, you know, one of the best people in New York for just saying, what's your effing problem? It's just like, who are you? What? If you can't take that criticism, what's going to happen on debate stage? What's going to happen? And I really do wonder. And I thought some of the people in Trump's world was bad and, you know, kind of over the top. Here... Ugh, I don't even want to know what's going to happen when the debates start. It's just pathetic, and it's ruining it's ruining my taste of DeSantis. Like, I used to be vehemently pro-DeSantis. I still am. But it's like, so, it's just a bad taste in the mouth where you got people like Jenna Ellis, you know, starting a shit fest over, you know, what, a tweet? And supporting somebody getting fired. Wasn't she a big shill of Disney? Remember that? She was a lawyer that supported Disney. And I know Trump, you know, he's being weird about it. Still, it's like, 
the hypocrisy of some of these people. But I really do hope this doesn't... Well, it, it seems like it is infecting DeSantis himself. He's been acting more strange than usual. He's just seen more establishment. That's the best word for it. But I'm hoping that DeSantis fires all these people. Because I really do think it's dragging out his career. And I'm starting to wonder, were these the people that started the rift between Trump and DeSantis? I'm starting to wonder. Because... Out of the blue, they just attack people just for supporting Trump? And let's be real, Trump did some dumb attacks. I'm not denying that. But, you know, you can't just say, oh my gosh, you know, he should be fired for his job. And what's going to happen next week? How much you want to bet in like a couple months, they're going to be hoping he gets indicted. Because that's where the grifters are. They want Trump to get indicted because, oh, that means DeSantis can rise. If Trump gets indicted and DeSantis is the nominee, he ain't winning. I'm just being realistic here. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. And of course, join the channel today. Again, this isn't a personal attack. I don't stoop as low as going after a 16-year-old on a Twitter account for a joke. But she took it seriously. I guess that may not be a joke. But again, I'm not personally attacking them. Like, yeah, I'm not saying do or don't boycott these people. But it just seems out of the blue they would do this to starting with a 16-year-old. It's just ridiculous. But do go follow GOP Josh on Twitter. It is baloney what happened to him. And these people, they need lives at this point. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.